Hello everybody, it's Wasan19. Welcome back to Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord, the Sturgeon Campaign. And I do have a few little problems. And I was deciding on making my own kingdom. However, we do have a little bit of a problem. Well, not making my own kingdom. Having uh, my parties, three clan parties made. But the right now the problem is money. As you can see with the mercenary contract, because I'm still spending influence, I'm making only 300 a day. As soon as I make those other three parties, that is going to skyrocket. I'm going to be looking at probably a thousand, two thousand a day, even more lost. So that is a big problem. And one of the things that I should have included in the last episode that I didn't include. What is our goal? Being that this is a Sturgeon campaign, do we want to help Sturgeon take over the world? Or do we want to go after Sturgeon and take it over? That it should be ours. That is something that I didn't actually do. That I should have done. So we're in a little conundrum right now. Where technically we shouldn't be making our groups. Because it is going to bleed us dry. We just have 200,000 on us. Now while those groups are going. What I could do is I could leave as a mercenary. And then I could go down into Asurai territory and trade off some horses while they build up. Because I could probably make 30, 40,000 trading horses and that would offset the entire cost. Of course, you'd have to deep, keep doing it constantly because you're going to lose 30, 40,000 in wages. So that is the problem that I face. Uh, I'm like, now I'm at a stuck point. I've literally been sitting here in front of the computer for about 10 minutes. Debating what I should do. Because I'm a little lost. Wouldn't mind taking him out. I, I'm literally at a conundrum sitting here. What do I do? I wouldn't mind making my own three, but therein lies the problem in which I said, what is our end game goal? I did not figure out our end game goal in all these episodes. And that is a, a pretty much... Um, that is stupidity on my part. Total stupidity on my part. I should have already discussed that with you guys. So we knew what was going on. And I did not do that. So that is totally on me. Direct, son. Ah, Flavius. How do I throw down the shield? I can't remember the, the command. I can't remember the command to throw down the shield. Drop the weapon. I, I don't want to drop... Well, I don't want to drop the weapon. I just want to drop the shield. Put it on my back. Does that help? I don't think it helps.
I'm getting better. Because I also thought maybe I'll let my groups go out. And I could go do tournaments. Anybody else? I'm covering their escape routes. I think some guys probably went up there. I covered all their escape routes. Yeah. I don't think I'll be able to catch them. Um, let's try G. All right, G got rid of my actual. Okay, so G. I don't see it. G dropped my weapon, then my shield. I don't see where I dropped my sh my weapon. But, so, I don't know how to j drop the shield, though. We don't want to drop the damn weapon when running. Because this is making really good money doing this. I mean, my mercenary contract, Flavius has been pointing it out. Uh, my mercenary contract has been making me amazing money. He's like, it, it's making you more than a workshop is making you. Because uh, you could see that contract is paying. They were paid 850 More limit. 52 out of 50. Um, Because every day they're taking influence and it's paying me money. They got 20 influence. Fifteen influence. So it's paying me six eighty a day for just five influence. Six hundred and eighty a day. And as he put it, you could just bandits. I mean the bandits are probably gonna end up giving me what? Um Well, obviously I'm not in a great position to catch them right now if they were in the snow. But I could just sit here and and ah, uh, they gave up. That sucks. When uh, that sucks when they give up like that. Um, you know they can give you one two influence or something like that. So I'm um. I really would like. I mean, we're early in, guys. I mean, just to to let you know, we're only like five hundred and fifty days into the game. It is not like we are super far into this game at all. Um, those weapons, I got to start thinking about those weapons. That's a lot of iron. Alright, rest we can sell. So, therein lies it. Um, I can get a ton of money. Continuing to do what I'm doing right now, I can make a bunch of money. Just continuing to be a mercenary. If I keep my contract going, keep fighting, you know, because my army is costing me. 
I don't think I pay for wounded troops as my perk. So that's why I think it's a lot lower right now. I don't know what to do. That's my problem. If, like I said, if I go ahead and I make that, make leave them, because I, I don't want to stay with them as a mercenary. If I do that, as soon as I make a party, they're going to end up calling them to an army, and I don't want to do that. So if I leave and go ahead and make these parties, I'm going to start bleeding a ton of money. I guess what I could do is start making the parties. And then if I find out it's bleeding me too much, I can put an end to it. I could do that. So technically what I have to do, because I'm Sturgeon, I got to get back up into Sturgeon territory and grab some troops and release them in Sturgeon territory. Now, however, if they... I better save this. Did I start a new save? Nope. Um, as you can see, we're only like 550 days in. Is there somebody in here? We got people in here. This is supposed to have been fixed. I did make an attempt. So, okay. So what we're, oh, I still got six influence left. Are they taking less? Yeah, see now they're only taking 340. Because I, they're now they're only taking two influence a day because I have less. But do I want the roguery? That uh, that would end up giving me probably about five to ten points of roguery. I think I want to try it. I saved it already. I think I'll take him. He's less. And I want my two-hander. Is that my two-hander? Yeah, that's my two-hander. So we get out of here from here. Eric. You're not fast enough, and this sword is way too wicked for you, buddy. This is a this is a mean sword. Goodbye. Now if I get two, that could be a little bit of a problem. Oh no. Don't jump ahead. That's it. Got him out. Anywhere from 5 to 10 points of roguery. And you gain charm. And a massive relation boost. There you go. Four points of charm. Only three points of roguery. Roguery, I guess, drops super fast doing that. I still love that. I would love to actually make a playthrough where I just ride around as almost like a, a good guy of some sort, just doing quests and tournaments and then do like prison and look in every town for a prison break. I, I don't know. Maybe, you know, roguery, but using it as like the Robin Hood of... Of Calradia. I almost thought about that. Stopping off to every town. Seeing if they have a prisoner. And do prison breaks. The sword is wicked. This two-hander. 
as long as I don't get two, and for the most part, when I do get two, it seems like a lot of times they won't just come after me. All right. We do lose money doing this, though. Now, they're both expensive. I don't... I wish I could right-click and see what my relation is with them. Or how good their clan is. Alright, pull up good old two-hander. Told you. Even with all your armor on, this two-hander is wicked. Got you. Out of my way, dude. Let me go first. Can't get him. Got him again. Woohoo! Two for two. Wow. All I gained was roguery. I gained no charm. But I'm up to 63 roguery. Uh, this one is... Oh, no. Uh, this is the one that I almost wanted to test. Five, it's only 5% more, so I'm not that worried about it. Okay, so what we need to do is get up into our territory. And we're going to start groups. Uh, just another update. No system as of yet. Um, I will let you guys know. And that way you guys look at the graphics as well. You know, see what they look like. Because I want to keep you guys up to date on it. Because as soon as I get it, of course, I'm going to have to, you know make changes and stuff like that to it no I should definitely check that town what do you got here oh, I'll take that With extortion by the deserters, I like to sim it because it gets you more prisoners. Damn it, I did it again. <sighs> Instead of hitting the prisoner button, I hit this next to it, which minimized it, making you think that you took the prisoners. I wish you could go back. So I didn't get the prisoners, and then of course. You can keep all the money for a massive charm, relation. I didn't get any charm, but as you can see, look how much it opens it up. Wonder if we got a prison break here. Um, what I might end up doing with this episode is letting this episode sit for a couple days because I really would like to get your guys' feedback on it. I'm waiting on armor because I'm going to do that offline. Now, do they have anybody in here? No, they don't. So we don't need to worry about this. I check troops. Oh, there we go. Uh, check the castle. I want to know what do you guys think? Should we help Sturgia take over the world? Should we just create our own clan and just go, like, after one spot? Ooh, he doesn't like me. 
uh should we go immediately after Sturgeon? because what i was thinking was if i was going to create a clan i would think about boy that's tough i got my guy going he's moving I would really love to take this. See, this is what's scary. That is going to be so damn scary to deal with. I don't know. If, would I take Rabal? Do I do that? I mean, I, I technically can make my own kingdom. So I'm going to take troops and start releasing my parties right now. All right, nobody in the dungeon. We're going to take troops and let's let's release our first person. Now let's make sure they don't have any of that. All right, they are good. I don't think they need armor. I think we have them. Yeah, they're decent. I think they're going to... No. Oh. Because you can't change their armor. That's what really sucks about them. They do not have the greatest armor in the world. Eesh. Okay, that's that's not the best. That's a little worrisome. Normally, I take right around the thousand armor. But let's look at her. Helms should be fine. We should be fine on the helms. Um, shoulders. Oof. That's four thousand. But see how, how much you spend here is going to cost you. I guess we're going to have to live with it for now. There's not much. It's it's definitely not the best. It's not the best situation. Now, they will take control. She's a four. He's a three. And she's a four. So, I don't know how that's going to work out. I don't really care. I think... First, let us go with, we're going to go with Svana. I want to get some line breakers in here. There she goes. All right, she's off and running. First one down. So that is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to get these four parties out. They're going to have to start with Sturgeon troops because that's how we play the game. So they're going to start in Sturgeon territory, but they can go off into other territories and collect troops. We're going to have to seriously... Want, look at that, already minus 700 we're losing 700 a day. That is going to be our problem. And that's only one group. I think we can release another one right from here. Once they release them, I would like to go run down, grab those horses to offset my cost. Um, I think we can release one here.
And I don't want to release my brother. My brother is the worst out of all of them. Alright, let's get rid of my beautiful wife. I don't really want to give her the high tier troops. Uh, we'll give her a, a couple of those. She's 32. Fortunately, I need to. I want to make sure she's got enough troops. Alright, now I gotta get one more set. Probably a herd penalty. Yep, that's a herd penalty, alright. So all I need to do is get my last one out, which I'm about to do. So as I said, um, I'm going to try to uh, take a consensus from you guys. Obviously, every, everybody's going to have a different opinion. So I'm going to try to get a consensus from you all. What would you like to see me do? Would you like to see me side with the Sturgeons and help them take over the world? Would you like to see me go after Sturgeon and completely take it over and then take out the world? Or would you like to see me set out completely on my own? I could set out completely on my own. Or would you like to see me become a vassal of sturgia get a couple fiefs and then leave and keep the with the holdings or release them yeah there's 20 million things i'm shooting at you guys right now um which one do you think like i said it's going to be tough because there's a lot of choices to choose from and i would really love to get your guys's opinion What do you think I should do? What route should I take? Let me know what you guys think. Like I said, I might let this marinate till the weekend. Because this is going to come out on Thursday. Which I'm not sure if we're going to have the patch by Thursday. It's been delayed with bugs. They did release a hot fix and they did fix the uh, castle. That we had a problem with you can do prison breaks and castles so just let me know what you guys think i want to try to get a bit of a consensus from everybody and look at everybody else's comments and talk to them try and you know try and talk back and forth and see if we can come to somewhat of a mutual agreement um i don't want to kind of see that just this 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 talk it over i'd love to get your guys' opinion and get everybody somewhat on the same page maybe i could say so um i'll try to respond to as many as possible so um until it comes out the next time take care and thanks for watching